up guys Ben Reef here real quick I, I want to show you guys a video and um, this video is actually shocking to me I gonna lie it's shocking as in I can't believe what I just watched have you heard about polyandry yeah polyandry whichever way the accent sound I don't really care Polyandry is a marriage in which a woman marries more than one man. Mm -hmm. It's unusual. And I pray it doesn't get out of the bag. Mm -hmm. Because Western medias are at it again. They have this show where a woman can marry multiple men at the same time. I saw it and I was shocked. There is this lady, Kaya Stevens. She is married to, I think, uh, Carl Stevens and this other guy, Tiger Munsho or something. They are living under the same roof, raising children. Like, wait, seriously? One woman, two husbands in the same house? <sighs> okay. Okay, I'm not judging anybody, you know, it's a free world. People have the freedom to choose and live their life the way they want it. But, God damn. I'm sorry, I'm African and um, I'm trying to process this. But anyway, I need you to see the video for yourself and tell me if you think... This new trend should stand. Like, as a woman, do you really want to marry two men at the same time? Let me let me just allow you to see the video. Yeah, this is Carl, my husband of 26 years, and this is Tiger, my husband of 10 years. Look at this. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Carl and I are entrepreneurs. We run several companies online and we've written several books together. For a living, I'm an investor. I sit around and look at numbers and charts and watch stock market all day. <laughs> Every lady should have two husbands. I'm legally married to Carl for the past 26 years. We have three kids together. When we decided that we wanted to have this multiple relationship structure in our marriage, we went straight to our kids and talked to them about it. We told them exactly what it was, exactly what it was not, and we always kept the door open for them to ask questions, share their thoughts, opinions, feelings, and we always supported them. All right. Get a different task. But did you see the legs under there? I have oh, other legs. tasks. In the 12th year of our marriage, Carl and I decided that I was going to have multiple partners because I had met and fallen for another guy. So I came back and reported that to Carl. So we decided to talk about it. Like, what do we do? How do we go about this? And that began a two year journey of Kenya and I just kind of discussing things. We just had to figure things out. So we discussed it for a number of years. I finally came into the knowledge and understanding about feminine you know, expression and realized you have to allow women to be free and express themselves. And as a man, I, I need to support her in doing that. I met Tiger at a Halloween party. He was dressed as Tiger Woods, and he was looking hot and sexy. Well, I came out and uh, had a dance with you, so we had a nice little romantic, slow dance. Uh, it was real nice. Yes. <laughs> and so I decided, you know, I'm going to pursue this. I'm going to see where this leads to. Right. So those just go right up there, and then the green painting goes in the center. All right. I'm super multifaceted. It feels like Carl fits one part of who I am, philosophical and spiritual, and, oh, we have these deep conversations. And then the other part is, like, thrill-seeking, excitement, traveling, and that's who Tiger fits. But I'm both of those people <laughs> in one body, so I like to have those multiple partnerships. Is it one nail for each painting? Uh, it's probably going to be two. Let's do the big painting first. We're all basically trailblazers in this way, and we all support each other. And that's why I'm so ready to support Tiger and Kenya whenever they need support in their relationship or anything else. I think a lot of what 
people see on a day-to-day is kind of like the whys. Why would anybody do that? Why would that man invite you into his house and have you with his wife? Why? It's a benefit to have another person there. It's a benefit to have somebody that you can kind of relate to, that you can trust, versus just having some random person come in. Or cheating. Cheating. just Lying, hiding, sneaking. Yeah, it, it really adds a lot of serenity to the home. A lot of guys that I meet are, you know, I always start out by telling guys that I meet, I already am in two long-term marriages. How do they react to that? Most react well. Oh, I'm dating because I'll always be dating. It's just fun. What can I say? It's hard to explain this because it feels like this is not rocket science. We all love attention, energy, relationships, and love. But the relationships that I'm looking for are sort of, you know, they are less time consuming Mm -hmm. than our relationship. Mm -hmm. They're more about going out, grabbing a drink, going dancing, having some fun. Okay. It's gonna take a lot more to get over the jealousy uh, of having a person that's coming in that may become a sexual partner with you. Mm Uh, they come in and they wow with, you know, gifts and jewels and all that. That's okay. I can match that. But if somebody comes in and they absolutely steal your heart, I can't match that. I can't come back in and steal it back from them. Never do I, am I looking to replace you, baby. Okay, guys, you've seen that video. Now, tell me, as an African guy, an African man, would you consent to this type of marriage? Because I know, I know, as for me, Ben Uriu, it's not happening. Wait. It's just not going to happen. So, guys, let me know what you think. Can you marry a woman with another man at the same time? I don't judge them, but eh, it ain't gonna happen with me. Uh, you know, if it happen, yeah, make I no lie. You know, go happen. Ah, that guy, no, 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 could tell you possible. All right, tell me how you feel in the comment. Share the video, like it. It's a free word. You're welcome.